Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. And remember, when it comes to surface area, simply put, it's the total area of the outside part or layer of a 3D figure. So when it comes to rectangular prisms, they have six faces. So we need to find the area of each face and add all of that up in order to get the surface area. Now at the top of your screen in blue, we are going to use that uh, formula there in order to find uh, the surface area of a rectangular prism. So surface area equals 2 times front or back plus 2 times right or left plus 2 times top or bottom. So let's talk about what that means. Now I have everything multiplied by 2 because for example if we pick the front or back, let's say we pick the front here, if we find the area of the front we can multiply that by 2 because the back is the exact same as the front. Same with right and left. We can find the area of the right face and then multiply it by 2 because the left is the exact same as the right. Same with top and bottom. So let's get into finding the surface area here and we'll start with surface area equals 2 and we need to find the area of the front or back. So let's find the area of the front where we have a 6 by 2. So we can do area equals length times width for a rectangle. Plug in area equals 6 times a width of 2 and we get an area of 12 square inches for the front. So we could plug in 12 here plus now we need to do the right and left now but before I get to that I want to mention to the right here I have a net of that rectangular prism so basically I unfolded it so you can see all of the faces um, and it's not in 3d form so it kind of lays everything out so we can visualize what we're doing a little better so as of right now we have 12 square inches here for the area of the front and the back. So let's do right and left. So we'll pick the right side here, the right face, and we have a 3 by 2. So area equals length times width, so we could plug in 3 times 2, and that gives us an area of, let's actually write it out, length times width, area equals 3 times 2. So that area is going to be 6 square inches. So again, that's the right and left. So we would do 2 times 6 for the right and left. And lastly, we need to do the top and the bottom. So we're going to take a look at the top where we have a 6 by 3. So area equals length times width. Plug in. 6 times 3 and we get an area of 18 square inches. So our bottom is 18 square inches and our top is 18 square inches. So we would plug in 2 times 18. Now let's start solving. 2 times 12 is 24. 2 times 6 is 12 plus 2 times 18 is 36. So the top, or I'm sorry, the front and back combined, we have an area of 24 square inches. The right and left combined area of 12 square inches, and the top and bottom has a combined area of 36 square inches. So we have all of our faces included. Now we just need to add everything together. So surface area equals 24 plus 12 is 36 plus 36 gives us an answer of 72 square inches. So that's the area of all of the faces added together. So there you have it. There's how you find the surface area of a rectangular prism. Again, find the area of each face and then add all of that together. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.